Hi, I'm Robbie. And I'm Mike. We're graduates of CSB Pittsburgh. Today this tutorial is to show you how to operate the equipment in the master control room. And we're going to start out with the teleprompter operation. Enjoy. First you must sit at the teleprompter station and open up the teleprompter program from the Windows desktop. Once open, you can now open up a current file or start a new teleprompter session. You can also make changes from the main screen. To start, press the lightning bolt. Now you're ready to start the teleprompter. To start and stop and control the speed of the teleprompter, use the teleprompter wheel provided beside the computer. Turn left to slow down, turn right to speed up, press down to stop or start. Press escape to exit the program altogether. Press F5 to enlarge the words so your anchor can see the words clearly. And now on to the video playback suite. It consists of the video playback controller, a preview monitor, a playback monitor, a playback deck is on the left, and a record deck is on the right. You also have a DVD VCR combo. You can play DVDs and VHS tapes. To start playback on a mini DV, press the tape into the tape deck. Press play on the playback switcher which is located on the left side. That on the left is your preview monitor. To fast forward the tape, turn the wheel to the right. To rewind the tape, turn the wheel backwards to the left. Notice the time code at the top. This lets you know minutes, seconds, and frames of your tape. To insert a DVD, just open up the tray button and insert the DVD as shown. Same goes for VHS. Just like your home VHS player, you insert a tape. Press play on the DVD player to get it started. To record any segment in the master control room, place a mini DV in the mini DV deck located on the right side. Press record and play on the right side of the video switcher controller at the same time. Now you can see that your tape is recording and you can see how many minutes, seconds, and frames it is recording in. You also have an audio cabinet which consists of the monitor amplifier, two mini disc players, and two compact disc decks. This is your audio mixing board in the master control room. As you can see it has lots of buttons and switches. Every channel is labeled and marked that way there will be no confusion on what you need to turn up when you need it. Don't let all the buttons confuse you or intimidate you. In class you will learn what all the buttons do in every channel. To turn on the channel that you need, unmute the channel and then pot up. Be sure to keep a close eye on the levels located on the right side of the audio mixing board. This makes sure your audio levels aren't quiet or distorting. The master control room monitors can be controlled by the main mixer level. Now on to the video switcher. This is your video switcher station. It consists of a preview monitor and a playback monitor of what's going on. It has two rows of A through D buttons. The top buttons take it directly to the shot and your bottom buttons can preview your next shot. To take the shot, push the lever up and it will change the shot. You can also use effects with the directional buttons. Now on to the chroma key effect. Press the shift and the chroma key button at the same time to get the chroma key started. Chroma key takes lots of time and preparation, so grab the joystick and move the little box around while pushing the OK button over top of the green screen. Once preparation has been completed, you should have a nice clean chroma key effect. Press the OK button to take the shot and have fun with chroma key. 